Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, a.k.a. Barnacles, and today we're busting out the 3D printer again. Yes, the 3D printer. My single most favorite piece of technology that I own. And I'll tell you why, because it is a great utility. You can pretty much use it to solve virtually any problem around your house. You need a hanger to hang something? You 3D print it. You need some cable management? You 3D print it. You need a place to hang your Xbox controller? You 3D print it. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. Now, if you're new to my channel, go check out my other 3D printing videos. I have made literally tons of stuff and littered my entire room with it. But if you're a veteran to the channel and you're just waiting to get your next fix, you'll have it right now. I love you, Companion Cube. Don't ever leave me. Please promise you'll never leave me. All right, guys, let's get right down to business. This right here is the 3D model that I picked up, uh, created by Chicken Biscuit, and I'll have the information and link in the description if you want to go get it yourself. It's a brilliant design. This holds Xbox 360 controllers, Xbox One controllers, and OUYA controllers perfectly. It can also hold PlayStation controllers, but it doesn't hold them that well, so I'm going to try to get a modification made to it or do it myself, and we'll do that as a separate video. So you can see right here it has a block that gets printed, and then these two pieces slide in, which means they're replaceable. If you break one of these, you just print another one, slide it in, and you're good to go. So no worries there. And it's a very solid and simple design. And that's the trick with 3D printers is create a design that prints easily. And this prints very easily. I mean, there's literally no overhangs to, to even mention. And it prints very fast. And it's a very strong part, even with 20% infill. So let's go ahead and get the printer fired up. And I'm going to need about four of these guys. And also, the Ultimaker 3D printer has no problem printing these out at 150 millimeters per second. You could probably even push it faster than that. And they come out flawless every time. controllers. I have my PlayStation controllers over on this side. Then as we move over, we got my Xbox controllers, my OUYA controller, and my Xbox One controller. So I need a more convenient place to put them than just having them sit up here. So I'm going to go ahead and mount them right next to my bed. All right, here's the four controller holders that I printed, and these work great for Xbox 360 and Xbox One controller and even the OUYA controller. So we're going to go ahead and mount those right here on my end table um, on the side so that all my controllers are nice and handy. And then we'll go ahead and find another bracket for a later video to hold all the PlayStation controllers. All right, this is gonna be a little tricky to shoot, guys. But we're gonna go ahead and put the bracket right there on the side. We wanna put the controller in it. And we wanna get it to just about where we want it. So I don't want the controller going over the side, but I do want it nice and high and accessible. So let's go ahead and say right about there looks good. So go ahead and remove the controller. And now I'm going to go ahead and mark the edge of where I want it. So I'm going to get it lined up with where I had it, right about there. And we're going to drive the first screw in. Don't want to over torque it. That's pretty good right there. Now we want to make sure it's level. So the nice thing is these are removable. So if you break them, you can just print more of these. All right, make sure we're good and level. 
Okay, right there is dead on. So now I want to drive the second screw. Okay, solid. Double check it. There we go. Right there we're level. Let's go ahead and put the two splines in place. Those just slide in. Just like that. Put the controller in. And there you have it. There's two controllers mounted so far. You can see, you can just reach over and just lift them out. And drop them in. Holds them nice. All right, all the blocks are now in place. Now I just gotta put in all the splines and we're done. Now again, you can 3D print replacements. So if you break one, you don't have to replace the whole mount. You just replace the splines. So you just take them, slide them in there. They're universal. This is a great design. Just goes to show what you can do with a 3D printer. Even fits the Ouya controller pretty good. And my final Xbox controller. So I got my Xbox controllers, my Xbox One, and my Ouya. Now I just need to modify the bracket, and I'll do that as a separate video to support my PlayStation controllers, and then I'll move those down the side of the cabinet. So all my controllers are nice and handy. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed my video on how to 3D print your own controller holders that you can put on your nightstand, you can put them on the wall if you use drywall anchors. They just work fantastic. The design is awesome. I have the link to the design in the description of the video if you want to print your own. Guys, I hope this video gave you a nerdgasm and proves once again 3D printers kick ass. I mean, come on, right? Because at the end of the day, guys, I'm a PC gamer, but sometimes I just like to lay in bed and play some consoles. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know what I'm saying, then figure out what I'm saying. If you still don't understand what I'm saying, I don't care. Oh, yeah, son. Oh, yeah. Like a boss. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.